Hi everyone, so I'm back with another journal to share with you and this one is a design team project for Tsunami Rules and it's using uh, one of her Jane Austen kits and I will try and find the exact kit. Um, I'll probably have to ask Daisy uh, to give me the link for this because um, I know that she's got a lot of Jane Austen kits um, which she might actually just tell me to actually link the Jane Austen section um, in her shop. Um, the journal is uh, seven and a half by four and three quarters. It has one signature, 60 pages front and back. And I went to town on this. Um, it's got a soft padded cover. Um, I use this lovely fabric here, which I think I got from Artie Mace. Um, if not, it was Lou. It was one of the two, one of the two ladies. Um, it's, as you can see, it is quite chunky. Um, really enjoyed uh, making this. Used a um, fair bit of lace and trims and things in this and dangles and oh it's just yummy. Um, it will be listed in my shop if you're interested. Um, something else I was going to say. I can't remember now. <laughs> anyway, oh, the front here has got three layers of um, lace. We've got this one here, then this pink lace. I don't normally use pink, but there is um, hints of pink in this kit. Then um, I've got this trim here, which you'll see it better on the back side. So that's that there and there. It's all been stitched. And like I said, it is padded. Um, eyelets and sari as a closure. And it is kind of, the sari is, um, it is kind of fraying and tatty. Um, I'm going to have to pull it away again because I, I used it the other day for something and it done the exact same thing. Um, but, you know, you, that's the kind of thing that happens with sari, unfortunately, or fortunately. See, that's all coming away there. So I'll just have to trim that off. Uh, there we go. Okay. Right, so look, look at the yumminess inside that. I haven't done a Jane Austen in a while. Um, and obviously I had this kit from Daisy, um, which she'd said, did you want to have a play with this one? And I'd forgot to download it. So I downloaded it yesterday, the day before, and um, printed it out. And I've done it on the smaller size because... I'm nearly running out of ink and my ink hasn't turned up from the HP Instant Ink yet and I'm about to have a heart attack um, because it's it's Good Friday tomorrow. Um, that means we won't get any post. So I'm looking at maybe Saturday before I get my ink. And if I don't get it Saturday, it'll be Tuesday because it's bank holiday on Monday. So um, I'll have to use what I've already got printed out. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I've done a smaller one. Um, there's coffee. That's coffee. There's... Um, there's the fabric there, there's the padding stuff, wadding we call it over here, I think. Um, I know in the US you call it something else. Then there is paper, like a crinkly paper in between. And then I put this um, coffee dyed paper on the inside. Okay, so this is one of the pages that is, um, I didn't use everything in the kit, but I used this page. Um, it's really pretty. There is hints of pink and green in it and I love it. It's very summery. Um, here I've just done some corner tucks I've sewn around the, all the pockets I think in here and um, I sewed this trim on as well. I'm just making sure I'm in frame here. And then inside there I have used, this is, I had these printed out, they're from Artie Mays. Um, it's her new coffee stained ephemera so I popped that in there. Then I made this tag, uh, just used some collage paper on the back which I think was from Artie Mays. Then this is it's either a page or um, like a double page because there's two of them like very close together on the page um, but I just chopped them up to make journal cards so I did that's what I did um, here is one of the little kind of ephemera pieces from the kit we've got some lace trim these little dangles this one here particularly I think that's a stamp inside there I'm not sure I'm gonna put it right up so that you maybe can see I'm not sure if you can see that or not. But that was made from Artie Mays. So I've popped that one there. Then here is a lace pocket. And inside the lace, I see it's really chunky. I haven't done a chunky one like this in ages. Um, we have 
a double journal card which is actually one of the pages and I printed two to a page this was in my stash and I just thought it would go I think that might be from my porch prints then I made these little envelopes I put a doily on I stitched all around like everywhere on it doily at the back which you could actually tuck something inside like that and obviously you've got that to the envelope to put stuff in I stitched on this lace trim and then I've done some stamping there is another one of these in the journal somewhere and you'll see it when we get to it uh, the doily I haven't used doilies in ages and I put a sticker on there rose sticker again one of the pages from the kit and then here is a little envelope and inside there is a little double journal card it's got the silhouette of um, man and woman don't know their names <laughs> uh, I'm not really that into Jane Austen um, I love the journals but not like the movies the books not really um, but I do like the journal kits and things so that goes on that away I've probably lost the paper clip because I'm good at doing that um, that goes on there and we have a stamp tag with some sari on there that just says this book belongs to We've got an alterations tag there which is a um, digital from uh, blah, blah, blah. who's that from now can't remember um, the old design shop on Etsy this is one of the um, journal cards from the, the kit uh, this is uh, the old design shop that's a freebie got some lace trim on here got a paper bag I've only used paper bags in ages and I only have two of them left so I use them uh, put some washi on there and then I just tuck some bits and bobs in so this was one of the envelopes from the kit and a postcard from the kit and I don't know if that's the actual thing to go inside there but once I'd cut everything out back to cut it all up made a big mess I didn't know what was what was to go with what <laughs> so that goes in there that's another one of Artie Maisie's uh, coffee stained ephemeras. I've yet to do something with them. This was just some ephemera that I had in my stash. Uh, some French ephemera. So I just folded that up, uh, done the raggedy edges and popped that in the paper bag. Um, there is still plenty of journal room. I love the noise of the paper bags. So I need to get some more of these. Um, got a little side tuck here I had loads of strips left from collage paper so I just made a simple pocket and inside there I just made a little booklet with these little square embellishments from the kit and we've just got some paper in there so you can do some some little journaling and then this is just a trifold and it's corner or well, yeah it's corner punched and inked up and that goes in there whoopsie get in there we go another journal card from the kit actually I think it's a page but I shrunk it down a bit made it into a journal card and it's they've all been backed so they have another page from the kit I like the fact that there is pretty designs and there is space to write because it would be nice to write all down there and you know you could even get a nice pink pen to write on there um, these are from the kit as well the ball jars is that what they're called another little tag from the kit and that is attached got some lace trim and some bling and this is a terry woods inspired um, pocket and it all opens up so you can write inside all of that it all opens up right inside fold it all up and then no one knows what's inside there it's a secret that's opened there as well so if you wanted to tuck something in there you can do so that goes there that goes there well it doesn't go there it goes in here actually but I'm just showing you the little tuck behind there as well I literally couldn't put any more in this because it was getting well as you see it's very chunky <clears throat> for a little journal um, this was just a coffee dyed page that I made into a pocket a uh, very simple thing to do added one of the postcards put some trim at the top and the bottom inside there we have a stamp tag and it says and the story begins 
then this is from the kit little journal card and had this already printed out and it's from Artie Mays so I thought that went well and that all goes in there I like that spread journaling space uh, some nice trim a little bead dangle here had loads of them made up or loads of them from something else um, another page from the kit again you can write on the squid paper and you've still got the lovely design um, here is um, pockets actually from the kit inside of the pocket we have another stamp tag we have this bowl jar I really do like the colours of this oh that's upside down and then we've got the silhouettes there and the, the tea and the teapot and the saucer and the roses <coughs> and obviously journal space Another doily with a little um, rose sticker on there. Another page from the kit. Uh, this was in, already sitting in my mini boxes of stash. <laughs> um, so I popped that in there. Uh, another paper bag. Inside there's a journal card from the kit. And then there's another one of these um, from Artie Mays. Uh, some more washi tape. That, the washi tape, see if I can reach it. Oh, okay. It was this that I'd bought, not last year, the year before. And I keep forgetting, I never used washi tape. I don't know why I've got so much of it, because I've got another big tub full of washi tape. And it's like, I, I buy it and then I never use it, because it's like really pretty. Um, but I used that one with the butterflies. And that one, no, that one I used, not that one. That one with the roses and then this one with the butterflies. It's probably on the other side. So that's what's on there. This is the old design shop. We've got some of this lovely trim on here. Centre of the signature. Uh, another side tuck there. And this is a... Um, I think there's two of them throughout. So it's like a monthly calendar. And it's obviously got all the, the little squares where you could write something really small on there and then you've got the image on the background um maybe i have showed the other one um another little notebook double sided with the little square embellishments then here we have i did want to tuck that in there but i didn't like the fact that it was hiding that pretty prettiness there so another trifold kind of journal card if you like and then this was from the kit and I just pop that on there some that's the butterfly washi and then inside there I just got some embellishments from the kit that I didn't use so I was just popping them in the pockets so that's from the kit it's all been backed and that is from the kit and that's another one of Artie Maisie's um, coffee stained ephemeras then here is a postcard, which was just a moustache, so I put that in there. Another lovely page with the lines on it, and a doily with another sticker on there. Another corner pocket, which is from the kit. Then here is another journal card from the kit. A stamp tag from the kit. Not from the kit that I made. <laughs> that is from the kit. And another page there. That's the other lacy pocket and the other envelope that I made with a doily. So like I said, you can, you can tuck things behind there as well. So I don't know where that's from, but it was a moustache <coughs> and I used it. And then that is a double journal card. It's actually a full size page, but obviously I've shrunk it down. So that goes in there like so and then one camera it doesn't want to do it uh that's the pocket that i made like i said these this was my kind of favorite layouts of the journal the this side and the other side with this uh postcards some trim here some trim there and the postcards from the kit a stamp tag alterations tag let's see if we can put that there like that and journal card from the kit, Mr. Darcy. 
Then here is, I've shown you how to do this before. Not, it wasn't my idea, I don't think. No, I don't think it was. But I've made it permanent so that you can't open it out and flip it out. I've just made it so that it's a tuck here. So you can tuck something like there, something in here, there, and then that's open as well. And then I've just got some lacy trims and some of this little pink rosette trim. And... There it is. So we've got a stamp tag that goes in there. Then we've got the bowl jar, which goes in there. Then we have that tag, which goes in there. We have these little tickets, there's three of them. How cute. Oh, they're right. They are around the right way. So they've just been inked up, and that goes in there. And then this was a moustache, it's from Artie Mays, and I put that in there. I thought it all went nicely together. Then here, another page from the kit. Then here, again, this was just stuff from my stash. And this is a French tag, which I believe is from Artie Mays. And this is, I don't know who it's from, but I popped that in because it was all florally. Got some trim here. Little bead dangle, which needs to go that way. There we go. Not a bead dangle, it's just a charm dangle. Ah, there's the other one of those. And like I said, they've all been backed. Some more of that washi tape on there. Then here, this is from Artie Mace. And then this, again, just in my stash. And I just thought, well, I'll use that. I'll put it in there. It's journal space. You can write on it. You could do other things with it. Little flip there. Another page from the kit. As you can see, look how chunky that is. <gasps> Um, doily with a sticker this was from the kit as well and then we have another pocket which has another one of these um, and another tag that I made this is collage paper on the back a printable um, and this is from uh, Daisy's kit and then again we've just got the corner tuck it's all been sewn and it's been sewn there with this fabricy lace on there and then that is the back so that is the journal so there we go this was a lot of fun i enjoyed doing this i think i might make some more jane austen <laughs> when i get my ink that is <laughs> you never know my ink could turn up later on today because it is only oh it's no it's not going to turn up now I've lost track of time as well now <laughs> do you know what it's because the, the clocks went uh, was it forwards backwards whatever and it's much later in in the evening now so you, so you think it's like five o'clock and actually it's not it's nearly eight <laughs> and then you haven't even cooked dinner yet well that's that's me anyway so like i said this will be listed on my shop um i will put the link to the kit below but daisy shop is listed um linked below anyway um yeah so there we go now, if you have any questions, just ask and thanks for watching. Bye.